Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, just uh, gonna get started on a little project I've been wanting to do since I bought the van. Um, the van that I bought, uh, there's no model on it, but I think it's like an XL. Uh, it's like the base, base model of the van, so, which is fine for me, I don't really care. So there's no like actual labeling on the back. Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and install cruise control because I got a 28 hour drive coming up um, from Reno out to northern suburbs of Chicago. And what I'm gonna be doing today is just getting the da um, doing the cruise control install. So, so you can see there's nothing here as far as like a cruise control or anything, very, very basic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drill a hole here and there's a kit. I'll go in the back really in a, quick, in a second and uh, show you. Uh, and um, I'm just gonna drill a hole here for the stock. But it comes with a stock so you can uh, manipulate the cruise control system. And then um, all the wiring and stuff gets uh, done back here and whatnot. And then under the steering wheel as well. Um, there is one wire to cut. And uh, when I do that, I'll show you exactly what I do to make sure um, we don't have to worry about any issues down the line because uh, you have to tap into the ignition wire. So if you do a, sh uh, a bad job, um, <laughs> if you do a bad job there, um, you won't, uh, what's it called? You won't be able to start the vehicle. So um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and show you the kit really quick. All right, so here's the kit that I got. It's uh, uh, Ro Rost Rostra? Rostra Precision Controls uh, kit. Um, just when I bought it on Amazon, it was about $300. And um, you can see here's the part number and everything for it. And so this is what the kit comes with. Um, basically, you have your um, instructions right here. You have some uh, connections. This is the one that connects to the, um, to the, uh, to the um, gas pedal um, connection. Um, it's a fly-by-wire, so there's no actual... Um, you know, gas pedal wire controlling like a carburetor. It's just, you know, it's an electrical signal that goes from the transmission to, or from the gas pedal to the engine telling it basically how fast to go. And so um, that's what you uh, use to tap into that. So it just comes off with a screwdriver and then you just tap into that. So you don't have to cut anything, plugs into the unit. This guy, it replaces your OBD2, OBD2 connector. Um, so you just like pop the existing one out put the new one, put this one in, and then you tap into the original OBD2 connector with that. Um, let's see. This one is the one that connects to this guy. This is the actual stick, the cruise control stick that you plug in. Um, when you drill the hole in the side, that's what you'll plug in to the side of the steering column. And then you use these wires to plug into these connectors that are in here. And it all plugs into these wires and plugs into the unit. Um, and then this kit I forgot to mention, this is the one that has, uh, I don't know if I can see it right away, it might be in here. Um, but this is the one that's gonna have the bare red wire and that's the one that you're gonna tie into the ignition um, by splicing into the vehicle and soldering and doing all that. So go ahead and get this installation started. Oh, it comes with zip ties as well, which is a very nice, um, very nice addition. Uh, so you can, uh, you know, do all your cable management and attaching this guy to somewhere in there so it doesn't flop around. Um, my last vehicle out to the Tacoma, um, it had cruise control obviously, but it didn't have remote start. And so I had a similar kit that I installed and it didn't come with any um, zip ties or anything like that. And it did come flopping down by the brake sometimes. So I had to, you know, either like tuck it back in while I was driving. Sometimes I even had to stop to tuck it back in. Um, and that only happened a couple of times, but so I never fixed it. But now that vehicle's gone, I got the van and we're gonna make modifications to something I've kind of done in the past um, to make it a lot better. So let's get started. All right, so one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, remove the bolt and the, um, the negative terminal of the battery. And so there was just a little flap, this guy right here. It was just sitting on top of this. And all I did was I, kicked it back and uh, this little flap here and exposed the battery. So I'm just gonna go ahead, this is a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy removed. And there you go. Out of the way enough for me to feel good that it's not gonna come back down. I'm just gonna take the bolt that I had, I'm just gonna put it back on top so I don't lose it. Good enough. And what I did is I'll, all I had to do is expose, to expose this, all I did was push the seat forward. This guy, like I said, it was sitting on top of this little flap up here. Just did that. 
and then slid this around. The whole thing came off. Batteries right there. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna leave it just like this. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead over to the front of the vehicle, um, the driver's side door, and I will uh, start taking the dash off and get the installation started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start moving some of the dash pieces. So we're gonna have to get rid of this guy right here, um, and then also um, this trim under the dash. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of uh, easy stuff, and then we're just gonna start going for it, basically. Looks like that's all connected. All right, so it looks like our winner is gonna be a T, uh, what did I find, a T25 star bit. I don't know how that's showing up on the camera, but T25 star bit, something like that. Torx, Torx 25? I think that's might be what it is. Got one more bolt down here as well. Hoping it's the same bit. go so that's all it was it was those two bolts and then all I did is I took my screwdriver and kind of pushed these guys in and I was able to get this separated enough uh, I'm just gonna leave that guy up there for now I don't think I need to remove it for any reason um, but anyway so what I'm gonna do is I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera but I want to make sure there's space in here for the uh, what's it called for the um, screw um, cruise control kit and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out exactly where that space lines up here. So I can run my wire down the, um, you know, the steering column. And um, I'll go ahead and get this guy figured out exactly where it's at. And then um, mark my hole. And then we'll go ahead and drill. It'll be a 3 8 if I remember correctly. Alright, so like I said, um, I don't know if this is showing up good on the camera. But this is the um, where I'm going to drill my hole. I'm actually just going to do it like a quarter of an inch over, um, not too far. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do, 3 8 bit drill. I'm just going to go ahead and take my guy here. Maybe I'll do a pilot hole first, just so I get my spot and I'm not kind of like flopping all over the place. So let's go ahead, start with something a little bit smaller than a 3 8 I'm going to start with an 8 bit. And then I can just go ahead and do my hole here. Help if it was to go in the correct direction. As you can see, I just did it right next to it. Alright, so I did just did my eighth bit for my pilot hole. And that's pretty much just the guide my three eighths bit. This is plastic, so I'm not really worried about it. So let's go ahead and get going. There you go. So it barely took like three turns to get it all the way through. Um, just had to guide it in. So I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit more. Don't wanna open it out. I was just about to start to do. Should not be that good, but should be okay still. And I'll get this all cleaned up later. But yeah, that's basically it. And I'll go ahead and get the uh, cruise control part in. That's gonna be this guy right here. And so if you just want a quick close up of it, this is uh, the kit. Um, let's see if I can actuate it at all. Oh, okay, it's just buttons, I see. So it'd be tap, tap, tap. And then there's a little 3 8 bit, uh, what's it called? Um, hex nut on here that I'll just go ahead and take off. And the wires will go through that. And those plug in just in there. Yeah, and so. Once you get everything off, you can go ahead and uh, pull all this stuff out. 
I can just use this wedge wherever I need it, honestly. Um, I don't think it's going to go inside for any reason. Because that's pretty flat. So I should be good. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and put this this wedge. And I'll keep it loose. So I can... Um, what's it called? So I can adjust it later. So I'm going to go ahead and do a washer first. This is for the instructions. And then I'm going to put my um, my wedge on. I'll go ahead and run the wires through. And then I'll do one more washer. And my nut. And I'm good there. So now I'll go ahead and I'll get this all flushed up now. Like I said, I'm just gonna leave it a little loose. We got plenty of threads inside the house, inside the shroud here, so I'll go ahead and get that um, going. So that's uh, that installed. And you know, I honestly kind of like where that's at. So I may just go ahead and tighten it up and then see what it looks like. Just making this as snug as possible because I don't want to be able to move that too much. That should be good. So really quick before I get uh, too far into this, I'm going to go ahead and connect the uh, cruise control stock wiring to uh, the harness wiring. And so, uh, as you can see, it's just bare terminals here, and they come with new adapt, uh, Molux adapters. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug these guys in really quick. So the black's gonna go to the black, white's gonna go to the white, and it's flip around like that. So I'm gonna start, let's see which way this goes. Looks like it's probably gonna go the way I had it initially. Hey, Deanie! What are you doing? So yeah, so let's see, I had it this way. This way. That's how it's gonna plug in. So that's how I'm gonna have it. And so it's gonna go black, red, blue that way. So we're gonna take our wires here. Let's see, we got our black, our red, and our blue. And it says in the instructions, the order isn't uh, critical, um, but I'm not going to take any chances here. I'm just going to follow exactly how they have it. So they have it black, red, blue, and that's how I'm going to plug it in. Just going to double check one more time here. Let's see, let's see, that's why I double check. That's why I double check. Black. Red and blue. A nice good push. Make sure they're fully seated. The red one trying to pop out a little bit. Looks like it's good. A little stiff tug. They all feel pretty good. So I feel confident with that. Now I'm going to do the white ones. Same exact way. Figure out which way my connector goes. And they have this red, purple, black, purple, that way first. So we're gonna go in like that. And our order down at the bottom is gonna be green, yellow, and brown. Green, yellow, brown. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them in like I did last time. Just make sure, because I just messed with my hands. That's the way it's gonna fit in. Green, yellow, brown. Go ahead and start slapping these guys in. Give them a good push in. See so they click. 
into the connector. And then let's see if that holds them up. Okay. So yeah, making sure they all click the first time. Make sure they don't come out. Feels good. Okay. So now at the end of this is our wiring that goes directly into the uh, into the uh, uh, control module. I'll go back here somewhere in the dash. So now that's done. And go ahead and do the OBD2, OBD2 and then also do the uh, pedal connector as well in there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the OBD, OBD2 connector. Man, I keep screwing that up. Slow down next time I say it. And um, I just wanna point out something in the instructions. I'll have them out. Um, it tells you to cut the wires for this already, but the one that I got, and this is um, just as uh, July 2021, when this is uh, when I bought this, it already has the wires connected, so you don't have to cut anything, and you don't have to put anything on. It's already done for you. So we we still only only have to cut one wire, um, but I just want to point out that it says to cut all this and solder it back together. Um, don't have to do that. It's already done for you. So, like I said, this guy. This is, um, let's see. So this is the one that's gonna replace your OBDT2. So we'll push this guy out, put this guy in, and then that'll connect right there. And then this is what connects to the control module. So we'll go ahead and get that done. These guys should just pop out. Like so. Go ahead and get that guy just plugged in there. get that guy in there before. I think it was like this. Okay. And there it is back in place. And uh, you know, maybe, maybe not no one would be in the wiser. So this is your wire that'll go out to your control module. So the next thing I'm gonna do is the pedal and I'll move the camera for that guy. Alright, so here we are under the pedal and uh, this is kind of like the same thing with the uh, OBDD2. Um, just gonna go ahead and uh, hit this tab and it should just pop out. I think it's this one at least. There it goes. Could have probably done this outside, but this is basically um, the part that we're gonna install here. Um, this is like the interceptor. That'll intercept the um, part we just un undid there, and then this will plug into the um, into the controller. And then this uh, wiring harness, it also has the bare red as well that we'll have to plug in. We'll have to um, cut into the ignition wire and solder in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy plugged in. feels good and that feels good as well and I'll get all this wiring out of the way um, obviously it's a real mess but that's kind of what it looks like right now under there and so the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and get we'll have to cut that wire that's what I'm worried about doing but we're gonna go ahead and do it so let's go ahead and get it done So the one wire that I'm going to need to cut is in here. Um, it's going to be the one wire tucked in this guy. It's going to be this uh, yellow and brown guy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this whole harness from the steering column so I can get back better access to that, uh, to that wire there. All right, so our brown yellow wire is what's going to be um, the wire that we tap into today. And what I have is... Uh, a uh, just uh, the red wire here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut back the insulation on this guy with a knife just so I can expose the wire not actually cut it and sever it I don't really want to do that 
um, and um, I'll just go ahead and I'll cut the insulation back on this guy, twist it on, and then I'll just go ahead and put some solder on it, and uh, should be good to go. So if I had to guess, this is probably going to be an 18 or a 20 gauge, and I'm only going to take off, you know, maybe a half an inch or so. Looks like we are at an 18 or a 20. I'm not 100% sure, actually. Probably 20. That was good. So now we got the uh, got this guy ready to go. And this is the part that I was most uh, anxious about. So we're going to go ahead and slice into this guy. There we go. It's not that wire is exposed. Oh, I don't know if I even cut any. Nice, I did a pretty good job, I guess. So now that wire is exposed, I'm gonna make sure this is routed right first. But I'm just gonna tie these together, tape it together, um, so the wires stay like that, and then I'll throw some solder on it. We are twisted together. I'm going to take some uh, electrical tape and just, just tie those guys together for now. And um, I'll solder the wires together and then um, throw a whole thing of uh, tape around it. But I just want to get something in there for now while I'm uh, doing the soldering. Just a little paranoid making sure I got the right wire here. Where are the yellow and brown? Do not definitely do not have any yellow and browns besides this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna go hold, go ahead and make this a permanent connection. I'm just gonna show you my setup really quick. Um, I have a EcoFold Pro, um, not a Yeti. <laughs> Don't look at that, but it's an EcoFlow Pro EcoFlow River Pro, um, 700 watt hour um, lithium battery um, power generator, and uh, this little guy only takes 60 watts. Uh, this thing can do about uh, 800 watts uh, normally, I think, maybe 1200 watts, and then it can peak at 1600 watts of power. Um, so obviously you're going to drain that in about 30 minutes if you're trying to run something at 1600 watts, like a space heater. Um, but for 60 watts, uh, we'll be doing just fine. So let's go ahead and let's just see. I don't know if this is going to come up back in my camera. It's not like it's going to come up. It does like this flashing thing. And sometimes I've gotten the camera to look at the right angle and then it stayed. I don't know if it's going to stay. Um, but anyway, all right, so I got this guy on. I'm going to turn that AC on. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip this on. And so right now we're only drawing about 30 watts, um, which is half of the rated um, draw on this thing, at least on the side of it. So. And I'll let, let it heat up and do its thing, and we're going to solder those wires together. And I know I have pretty shaky hands. I'm not 100% sure, sure why that is. Uh, I've been drinking water all day. Not really getting too crazy. And that's our connection salt soldered together. Looking pretty good. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy back in. Since I'm good to go. And we're tied into the ignition. So now what I can go ahead and do is plug everything in to the control module. And I can slap the 10 mil back on the battery. And we can go. Um, oh, I also have to put this uh, put all the dash back together. But we'll go ahead and do that. And um, yeah, go ahead and start doing that. All right, so I just want to make sure this wiring gets behind all that. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and shove all this wiring through. We'll go ahead and close the knife so we don't chop anything off. And we'll go ahead and get this guy back down. Oh, wait. I'm going to go ahead 
put the wiring back in. Tuck it all the way down there. And I'm just gonna keep everything to the left here so it doesn't interfere with the uh, adjuster. So really quick, um, I just want to show you, I got the, um, the uh, trim back up here um, and I got everything plugged into the back. Um, just got all my, going to get my wires all um, zip tied up and uh, dressed and then I'm going to go ahead and tuck this guy up in here. But I just wanted to make sure you saw this. Um, basically this is the throttle connection with that red wire we had to solder into the ignition. Um, this is the cruise control uh, stock wires. And then the, this is from the OBD2. Um, I think it's just a power connection, honestly, but it's from the OBD2 connector here. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dress these all up. I'm gonna put, the, um, I'm gonna put everything inside in here. I think I'm just gonna tuck it in there. There's some space up under this little guy here, and then it um, should be good to go. I just noticed my hand is bleeding. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys really quick um, where I put the uh, controller. So all the wires are kind of tucked up in there and basically I just got the wires in there and that module tucked in up there under this fuse box. Um, and I took a zip tie and just tied it off to the frame so it wouldn't fall off. It was looking like it might fall off into the, uh, into the footwell here. So I didn't want that same thing to happen. So we go ahead. I'm going to put the 10 mil back on the battery so that I can start the vehicle and then give it a good road test and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so I just got the uh, cruise control installed and uh, went and road tested and it worked out great. Um, everything functions as it should. Um, there's that little beep I was telling you about. Um, when I took the battery out, I was able to do the intro without that beeping, but um, here's the cruise control right here. Works great. Just that light turns on, on. You just set it. You can close to slow down, accelerate. And then if you hit the brake, um, you can resume within this button as well. Um, so pretty similar, you know, to any like normal cruise control setup. Um, but yeah, so it worked great. So yeah, it's the Rostra uh, cruise control kit for, it's for a 14 through 16 transit. This is a 2017 and uh, yeah, it worked great. So yeah, um, if there's any um, change to that um, review, I'll uh, go ahead and update the video um, with a subtitle or something like that. But yeah, besides that, that's the video and I'll catch you in the next one.